Hi, Ian Roberts, and welcome to Mastering Composition and the Laboratory of Our Painting Process. You'll see that I did get a haircut. Uh, one of the common complaints that I find students have is they say they get overwhelmed by detail, whether in life or working from a photograph. And you could say in a way that the world is made up of details, right? And you just keep adding them all in, add all the details, it'll eventually look like the world. And the more details you put in, the better it'll be. Well, in fact, pretty much the exact opposite is true. And if you want to make consistently better paintings, you've got to simplify. Sort of the less detail, the better. So the truth is, most of the detail we think of happens on the edge between light and dark. And I'll go into that on another uh, video. But for this week, you have to ask, well, okay, if we don't put in detail, what do we put in? How do we simplify? What is the idea? If we remove all the detail, what's left? Well, it's your vision, really, your idea that you bring to the painting. I mean, we don't just take a photograph or look at life and try to get it all in. It just It is. It's overwhelming. So somewhere in there is your vision, your idea. And everything that supports that, we put in. Everything that doesn't, we strip away. So I'm going to show you three photographs and three paintings I've done from them. And all of them have evening light raking across the landscape. And you'll see in all three of them, it is stripping everything away except those light and dark shapes of warm and cool light and how they interact in the landscape. Everything else has been stripped away. So here's the first scene. And we see signs and roads and windmills and telephone lines in front of the dark shadows. And what I'm looking at primarily is the lit side the dark side of these shapes, of how the sun is hitting this in the late afternoon and the shadow and light shapes. And you'll notice in the painting, I've stripped everything away to focus on that one thing. And I have created sort of a focus back here and a patch of light across there to kind of bring our attention to back to the sort of focal point of the structure. But the whole thing has been simplified. And if it's in the sunlight, it's light. If it's in the dark, it's dark. And I don't confuse the two because the moment you start confusing the two, then you lose the theme of the idea. So here's another one. Late evening light, shadows, patch of sunlight. Shadows, patch of sunlight. Little buildings, fences, old fences, more telephone lines, lit side, dark side. So we can see where it's in shadow, it's clear we're in shadow. Where it's in light, it's clear we're in light. And the two do not get confused. And so it just creates this really simple structure and allows you to strip away any details that don't serve that structure. And here's an evening scene in Provence, beautiful light in the valley, in a big foreground where I add strips of light coming in from way over on the right-hand side to create more interest. But again, what is in light, really clear. What is in shadow, really clear. So here's one that I'm just presenting. I've painted this, and if you want to paint it, you're welcome to give it a try. And just making sure that you keep the sunlit and the shadow masses separate and not confused. It's a beautiful image. I enjoyed painting it. and. Uh, if you do paint it, uh, send it to me. I'd be interested. As always, I hope you found that helpful and engaging. I hope you're well, your family's well. I hope you're getting time for your creative projects, whatever they might be. I will see you next Tuesday. Bye for now. Have a great week.